this cowardly act targeting the most innocent people in the middle of the most innocent pursuits was meant to make people feel they could not go about their daily lives. And what we saw last night, Governor Cuomo and I went to our annual Halloween parade. A million New Yorkers showed up for that event. And as we spoke with them, uh, they were undeterred. They were strong. It made me very proud of New York City and all the people of this country to see that strength in the face of adversity. This morning, people went to work. Kids went to school. No one thought there was any choice but to stand up to this act of terror. So as we now move forward, we start with giving our prayers to the families of the eight who were killed. They, as you heard, uh, six of them came from other nations here because they saw New York as a special place to be. And we now and forever will consider them New Yorkers. They shared this tragedy with us. We will remember them as New Yorkers. They were here because this city is a, a beacon to people all over the world, a place that every kind of person comes to and is respected. And that won't change. I think it's important that we are all working as one. And uh, in this kind of situation, there is no alternative. This is not a time to have politics. This is not a time to uh, point fingers. This is not a time to find blame. It's a time to come together uh, and work for a common goal. The effort yesterday uh, killed eight people. Uh, but in my opinion, the effort failed because the effort was not uh, to kill eight people. The effort was to disrupt us to terrorize us, to scare us, uh, to create mayhem. That's the effort. That's the goal on all of these attacks. Uh, New York is a special target because we have that Statue of Liberty in our harbor that we're proud of, holding up the torch for freedom and democracy. But we've seen it all around the world, and it is to create mayhem and terrorize. And it failed. The mayor is exactly right.